guys welcome back to my channel and hello hi uh, in today's video i decided that i want to check out the women's prize long list in detail on camera because for some reason i do not follow the women's prize like i want to like even last year when the long list came out when the short list came out i just felt like okay fine like you know i have to get to these but i never eventually get to these you know you get my point like there are so many books around that getting to the women's prize like i get to the book in general on a yearly basis seems very 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 difficult for me and that's why i decided that i need to check the long list up asa so if you blank read any of the books from the long list do let me know the thing is that i have already read two books from the long list because uh, you know these guys post a picture on instagram and currently i'm on their website and i can see i've read a couple of these but you know what let's just deep dive and i'll let you know what i want to read and i what i don't want to read or what is not like really interesting for me and how i want to be following the women's prize every year so let's start with the first book in the list because all of this is in alphabetical order i think no not alphabetical but anyway you get my point so the first book in the list on the website is because of you by don french i don't know about this book i have not heard about this book at all so i need to check out what is it it's basically the old millennium turns new in the same hospital two very different women give birth to two very similar daughters hope leaves with a beautiful baby girl anna leaves with empty arms 17 years later the gods who keep watch over broken hearted mothers wreak mighty revenge and the truth starts rolling terrible deep toward them all the power of mother love will be tested to its limits perhaps beyond this is interesting because i have never even heard of don french in my life if you have that's good i have not oh no but it's interesting right because this is a story of motherhood in general and i think um Don French is a color. It's a POC, the person of color. Don French is a British actress. Okay, one say. Don French, author. Oh, she's not. Oh. I see. I live under a rock. I'm telling you, I live under a rock. She is a British actress. Okay, cool. Fine. I take back all the words I said. Basically, I. I am interested in the book but I am not very motivated to read it like I do like books which explore a uh, motherhood in general because uh, you know the society tells you that motherhood is something that you have to achieve in order to you know regain not regain fulfill your life in general which is total bs but yeah i am interested but i'm not even interested so this book is just like somewhere in the middle for me like i only read it if i get time uh the next book in the list is actually burnt sugar by avni doshi which i have read by the way and i really like this book a lot i really hope for this to win the book up but it did not happen but uh it's a nice book i like it i recommend burnt sugar to you please go ahead read it it is again about a mother daughter relationship So like I said I actually don't read books about motherhood in general but this seems like okay cool you know maybe I can get this done the next book is uh, in the list is consent by Annabel Leon Lyon okay uh Saskia and Jenny are twins alike in appearance only uh Saskia has a single minded focus on her studies while Jenny is glamorous trill seeking and capricious Uh, still, when Jenny is severely injured in an accident, Saskia puts her life on hold for her sister, and then it goes to Sarah and Matty. Gradually, Sarah says, "Okay, learn, but this is la 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 la." Okay, so basically, the novel is about sisters, their naughty relationships of predatory men, and sexual power of retribution and the thrilling possibilities of revenge. I think I'm going to read this. This is something that actually attracts me because I like. books about sisters in general like i keep raving about home going i keep raving about couple of other books i don't know anyway this is something that i do want to read i am interested in the premise just by the premise uh, or the description at the back of the cover i am interested i am very very interested 
so this is more like um like over here like higher than uh you know what let's give it levels right so how bad do i want to read this six or ten how bad do i want to read the first book in this list like four or five or ten so you know you can only read so much in this lifetime uh, the next book in the list is detransition oh detransition baby by tori peters it basically is about reese who had it all basically a loving wish amy an apartment in new york a job didn't she didn't a job she didn't hate uh, she scrapped together a previous generation of trans women oh this is a trans woman story she had scraped together a life pre of a, a life previous generations of trans women could only dream of the only thing missing was a child i don't need to read the premise anymore i am reading this book okay anything with to do to do with the lgbtq community i generally just jump onto it and read it because i like books like this i have to make a list by the way so this is something that i'm going to read i don't know when i will be reading it like next month maybe but i want to read this this is at the top of my head d transition baby noted the next book is actually i think it's exciting times yes it's exciting times by uh nios now i'm sorry i should have checked out how to pronounce your name anyway by miss dolin uh basically this book is about a millennial of course like it has to be uh i see i'm a millennial but i tend to not read books about millennials simply because i just feel like like how do i say like my experience with millennial books has not been good right my experience with um normal people has not been good and this seems like one of those normal people books basically when eva uh eva ava eva sorry my bad something wrong with me today uh, when uh, so eva leaves island yeah i understood yeah this is like yeah this is part of the normal people part 2 but let's see a badly paid job in hong kong teaching english grammar to her children julian who likes to spend money on eva and let's have move into his guest room edit blah 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 sorry ma'am i'm not interested in exciting times but if you have like a good review for exciting times and you've read normal people and you hate normal people but you like exciting times let me know then i'll give it a thought so that's that uh, the next book on this list is how the one arm sister sweeps her house now this is something i'm very interested in because um this has been written by uh cherry jones who i'm just googling because i don't know cherry jones about cherry jones much yes she's a person of color of course uh yeah got it i think i may read this it, it it's basically about um the story of three marriages and of a beautiful island paradise where beyond the white and sandy beaches and the well the tourist life poverty menacing violence and a story of sacrifices some women make to survive yes ma'am i'm reading this i'm reading how the one arm sister sweeps her house now i say that i'm going to read this so it's not necessary that i will read it like you know asap i'll read it like at my own time maybe i may read it like asap however things move on um but yeah i'm reading it the next one is uh the next book in this list is no one oh luster by raven lailani i am going to read this book i have already told everybody that i'm going to read this book luster is going to be my next audio book hopefully i don't know when will i get it but i'm going to be reading luster so yeah that's cool cool okay so i'm reading luster so that's confirmed uh the next book is no one is talking about this by patricia lockwood uh, a woman known for her viral social media posts travels the world speaking to her adoring fans her existence overwhelmed by the internet or what she terms the portal are we in hell the people of the portal ask themselves are we all just going to keep doing this until we die suddenly two texts from a mother pierced the flame something has gone wrong how soon can you get here as real life and its stakes collide with the increasing absurdity of the portal the woman confronts a world that seems to contain both an abundance of proof 
that there is goodness, empathy, justice in the universe and a deluge of evidence to the contrary. I may read this, I may not read this. So this, this is one of those books. So this kind of, the description kind of reminds me of Sophie Ward's Love and Other Thought Experiments, which I really loved a lot, by the way. Uh, I may read it, but I may not read it like soon. I may read it like later in the year when I feel like I should read this. But it's something that's like kind of not my high priority. Like I'll wait for people to review this book because it's come on the women's prize. So I'm waiting for people to review it in the first place. Uh, the next book in the book, sorry, the next, the next book in the list is um, Nothing But Blue Sky by Kathleen McMahon. Mahan. Interesting. See, most of these women authors I don't ever know and I think that's a bit sad but then there are a lot of authors you know you cannot just keep count like that interesting so is there such a thing as a perfect marriage David thought so but when his wife Mary Rose dies suddenly he has to think again in reliving the 20 years together David sees that the ground beneath them had shifted and he simply hadn't noticed or had chosen not to Figuring out, who Mary, figuring out who Mary Rose really was and the secrets she kept. Dude, I mean this. Okay, see, like there is this kind of um, Daphne du Maurier air to this book where you actually like go ahead and find out secrets regarding your wife who's dead. I'm reading it, but I may not read it now. Again, I will read it like way, you know, into this year. Because I think this will turn out to be a nice book because it has that secretive thing going on. Okay, cool. Uh, okay, the next book is Piranesi by Susanna Clark. I'm going to read this for sure. This is there in my list as well. I have it in my TBR. I'm going to be reading this on audio mostly. And yeah, it's basically a fantasy fiction book. Okay. And it's better to get into this book, like from what I've heard, it's better to get into it, like without knowing anything about it, because the more you know about it, the more you kind of spoil yourself. So I want this to be a complete surprise. So that's going to be one of my next audio books. So uh, Piranesi by Susanna Clark is going to be read by me. Okay, next one is Small Pleasures by Claire Chambers. And this is set in Southeast London in 1957. Uh, Jean Sweeney is uh, a journalist on a local paper trapped in a life of duty and disappointment from there is no likelihood to escape. When a young woman, Gretchen Tilbury, contacts the paper to claim that her, her daughter is a result of a virgin birth, it is down to Jean, 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 I don't know, I like calling her Jean, so please don't judge me, it's Jean by the way, just letting you know. But um, yeah, so basically she has to discover that it's a miracle of fraud. Basically the investigation turns her quiet life inside out. Um, she is suddenly given an, an unexpected chance of friendship, love and possibly happiness. But there will be a price to pay. I am just going to be thinking about it, whether I want to read it or not. The, prim the premise doesn't excite me much because I think it's going to be a slow book. But I will still wait for other people's opinions on it so that I can like think about it. Like generally I don't like watching book reviews but if it's a book that I've been wanting to read some, since some time I watch like a part of it because I know whose book reviews I watch in general. So yeah that's that. Uh, the next one is Summer by Ali Smith. Uh, I'm going to be reading this but then this is like way into the quartet correct like she has this whole quartet going on. I think I'm first going to be reading Ali Smith's How to Be Both and yeah that that's my plan so i'm not going to dive into this because yeah okay the next book is the golden rule by amanda craig ha <sighs> the golden rule is an intelligent bookish hard-working person hannah she grew up in hope and she has tried to escape life in cornwall's ugliest coastal town through a university degree professional career marriage stuff like that and her Okay, and her marriage is like bad. Basically, her Bahana turns up at the remote Cornish house where Jenny's husband is living, intending to keep a promise. Nah, this is not my type of book. Let me just be very honest. Not my type. I'm not interested. So, yeah, let's let's just move on. Uh, the next book here, you know, maybe I'm judging these books too fast. It's okay. 
Uh, the next book is The Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett. Uh, yes, I'm going to be reading this. I do have it in my TBR. I have it on my Kindle. And I'm going to be reading this like pretty soon. Uh, hopefully like in a couple of weeks after I finish my midnight library maybe, I'll be re reading uh, The Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett. So this is something I'm reading. The next book is Transcended Kingdom by Ajayasi, which I've already read. So this is the second book other than Burn Sugar that I've already read, which I didn't like. I'm sorry, Ajayasi. And I even like just sold the book. So um it's one of my booktube friends who has the book right now i hope she likes it uh, but yeah yeah jossie's here so that's that and the last book in the long list is unsettled ground unsettled ground by claire fuller what is the life you've always known is taken from you what if the life you've always known is taken from you in an instant what would you do to get back teens uh genie and julius have been different from other people at 51 years old they still live with their mother dot in a rural in rural isolation poverty uh, and poverty inside the walls of their old cottage they make music and in the garden they grow sometimes kill blah 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 dot die suddenly blah 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 it's basically like a novel of heart stopping um, novel of betrayal and resilience love survival it's a portrait of life on the fringe of society that explores a dazzling emotional power uh, on how we can live build our lives on broken foundations and spin light from darkness. I don't think I'll read this. It does not seem interesting to me. It's not my type, actually. Uh, I really don't really, I don't really like get into like these family suckers per se. I think that's a problem that I have. Generally like um, with Anne Pache, like, you know, I like her books, but I don't like all her books. And I don't like all her books simply because it's very difficult for me to kind of you know relate to her like dysfunctional family stories and this kind of seems like that so yeah that's that so yes um oh okay but by the way the times okay so the book cover has a comment by times it says um a latter day daphne to moria i'm interested this is very tempting this this comment with daphne to moria in it is very tempting but ema not gonna read it so it's okay but you know what this is it i kind of wanted to just go through a long list today and let you guys know what i'm interested in what i'm not interested in but if you have something that you're interested in or if you've read any of these which i said that i should not i'm which i said i'm not going to be reading then let me know because then i would change my mind i change my mind easily okay so thank you so much for watching um i will see you Hopefully on my weekly reads because you see all of this mess around me. Yeah, it's just like, you know what's the mess about. But yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I will see you in my next video. Bye.